Welcome back, everybody. We are live right in front of the Alamo for the 125th Battle of Flowers Parade. We're so happy to be with you, and I was so happy to see some of the royal shoes. Yeah. I should show you my shoes. Show us your shoes. There's my shoes. Let's see your shoes. Mine are Crocs. You don't want to see them. <laughs> you don't want to see them. I can see them right now. But hey, really but, they're, 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 but they're comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> and I almost wore flip-flops. Either way, it's not good. Thank you for not doing that. Yeah, you're welcome. Anyway, uh, but just look at that picture. I mean, the, the animal behind us there, well, it just, it's a gorgeous afternoon here. And you're looking at an antique car. This is representing the Pearl Brewery. Title and is Willie Nelson. We love Willie. We sure do. Pearl received the Historic Preservation Award from the City of Monument of the, for the monumental task of restoring those eight original structures. If you've never been to San Antonio, the Pearl sat there for years, dilapidated. Yes. And it's been completely revitalized. It's become a hot food destination also for the hotel as well. Oh, yes, Hotel Emma, Historic Pearl Brew House. It's a boutique luxury hotel, and we mean luxury. It highlights the property's grand history. And actually, the Pearl received the Historic Preservation Award from the city for the monumental task of restoring those eight original structures. Leslie, next up we have the president of Fiesta San Antonio Commission, Vontetta Hickman. Formed in 1959, the Fiesta Commission is a nonprofit that oversees and coordinates Fiesta San Antonio. Yeah, there you see it. And coming up behind Vonzetta Hickman, as you said, the commissioner, we're going to see a float that's absolutely beautiful, which we'll tell you about in just a minute. But first... Vonzetta is there with her daughter, Jada Hickman, the driver, Dr. Peter, Dr. Peter McGannity, husband of Battle Flowers member, Carol McGannity. All right, there you see the float I was just talking to you about. And Miss Fiesta is right up front. This is the Fiesta Royalty float. It there features she... four of the seven official queens that reign over Fiesta. Best boots yet with spurs on the Woo! side. Go, go spurs, spurs, go! It is game night. Yes, it is. And... Game three in Memphis tonight, 8.30. We are super pumped about that game. Now, Miss Fiesta makes appearances to spread Viva Fiesta spirit to churches, to schools, to all kinds of events. She serves as the Fiesta Commission's official ambassador throughout her reign and promotes her community engagement project. Miss Fiesta San Antonio is joined by Miss San Antonio, Miss Women's Club Fiesta Teen Queen, Queen of Soul, and Visiting Queen. And now you see the Fiesta San Antonio Commission Order of the Cascaron. That's right. Which yes. the correct way we know to break a cascaron over someone's head. Is crack it over the head, not on the head. That's exactly right. We've learned the hard way. The esteemed Order of the Cascaron was established in 1992 to recognize dedicated volunteers who have made outstanding contributions to Fiesta. Next up, San Antonio Char Association, Las Coronelas. The group, the San Antonio Char Association, they're the oldest Char Association in the USA, established back right after the war in 1947. And here, listen to this, they're also one of the only associations that is actually a nonprofit. It was a first place winner in the 1985 Char Association competition in Mexico City. And we've been told to point out that the Char Queen this year is Yasmin. Bernal. Congratulations, Yasmin. Congratulations, Your Majesty. That's right. Say. There she Everyone. is. They strive to maintain the tradition. It's well over 200 years old. And that's really what so much of today is about, tradition. It sure is. Colorful costumes, beautiful horses. And somebody's on their phone. Wait, Text that doesn't go. Wait a minute. You're not supposed to text texting, and ride horses. Texting and riding. Is that legal? We're going to let it slide today. Oh, I don't know. There's the whole bike patrol, and I even think the police chief is here watching. The super scoopers. That's Ayusa once again. That's uh, eighth year to participate. Next up, we have the president of the Fiesta Flambeau Association, Parade Association, Michael Flores on board, uh, which is an Audi down there, red Audi. Very nice car. Mr. Flores is accompanied by his sister, Maria Flores. Now, the Flambeau Parade is the largest illuminated parade in the country. It will take place Saturday, tomorrow, April 23rd. And the theme this year is Long Live Texas. Yeah. And there will be many lighted floats, bands, dance groups, all to delight the crowd. So, of course, we will be covering that as well. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's Steve Spreester and, and Myra Arthur. And Myra Arthur. That's Tomorrow right. Night. And if you can't actually get down there to enjoy it, you can just watch it right here on KSAT. All right. So, Ray Feo, the 68th, has stepped off his float. Darren Casey. Oh, there looking. he is right there with the flowers. Delivering the flowers. He's raised over $700,000 scholarships. Oh, there he is. Well, they all have such ornate hats, I mean, crowns and outfits that sometimes it's tough. But that's Rafael the 68th, Darren Casey. And he represents the Rafael Scholarship 
Inc. during Fiesta. That's right. We're talking about raised over 700,000. 200 scholarships will go to San Antonio youth during Darren Casey's reign. He is actually the founder and president of Casey Development and has developed over 4 million square feet of office, retail, industrial, and multifamily residential properties. And I would say riding with him, but they jumped off. Yeah. So walking with him are his daughters, Lindsay, Haley, Kenley, and Brittany. But riding, not with him, is his Prime Minister David Christian, his Executive Minister Chip Haas, and his Education Minister Francisco Nima. A well, look at this festive group coming up right behind him there. Yeah, that it's is missing Rafael because yeah, he's walking in front. That was his court just coming by here in Alamo Plaza. And next up, we have the Rafael Consejo Educational Foundation. They're getting quite a few cheers. They produce a 10-day event known as Fiesta de los Reyes in Market Square, one of Fiesta's largest free events. Now, Walter is Rafael 63. His reign was during Fiesta in 2010. This is his fifth year as a regent of the Rafael Consejo Educational Foundation. He's helped grow the Rafael Consejo from 68 members to today's, get this, 140 business and civic leaders. He's a grad of Edison and uh, St. Mary's University attorney with Cerna and Cerna. He and his wife Debbie have two children, Alejandra and Baltazar. I hear music and that music is from Tom Z. Clark High School, Northside ISD, the Mighty Cougar Band. They had 37 consecutive years of UIL Sweepstakes Award, qualified and competed in state's marching contest 2014, and will participate in the National Memorial Day Parade in Washington, D.C. They year. are 180 members strong with a flag core of 20. Let's listen to the Mighty Cougar Band. Cougar Band from Tom C. Clark High School from the Northside Independent School District. Congratulations to them. They won second place at the Battle of the Bands last night in category Division 6A. 6A. That's pretty impressive. And they are as big, if not bigger, than the AM band we saw earlier. There, that's a big band. All right, right now we need to take a moment, take a look at this banner if you can, because this is the corporate donor banner. And the Battle of Flowers Association is so grateful to acknowledge the generous support. HEB, Raising Canes, San Antonio Shoemakers, those were the major sponsors, but there are so many others who have also contributed to make it possible. Yeah, Goldsbury Foundation, Wave Healthcare, Frost Bank, Whataburger, McCombs Foundation, USAA, Gunther & Son, Broadway Bank, Julian Gold, Bud Light, the Mays Family Foundation. The and oh. there you see coming up now the oratorical contest winner. This is John Biebighauser, Jr. He's the winner of the 91st Annual Battle of Flowers Association Oratorical Contest. It's the contest is the oldest speech contest for college students in the state, focusing on the events and ideals of Texas history. He's a freshman in the Honors College at Texas Christian University in Fort Worth. And there you see the Battle of Flowers Association Band Festival cover contest winner. This is Abigail Stoffel. This is Oh, no, I'm sorry. That is not Abigail. This is actually Leah, Leah Graciel Gomez. Gomez. She's the winner. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, she's the essay contest winner. Sometimes they get them a little out of order. Yeah. But she actually was the winner of the 22nd Battle of Flowers Association. And she's a seventh grader at St. Anthony Catholic School. All right, now back. That is Abigail Stoffel. She's the second year in a row to win. First place for the cover art contest for the Battle of Flowers Association. And she is a junior at Randolph High School. She hopes to go to art school in Washington, and her dream is to work at DreamWorks Animation. That's good luck good, to you. That's a good dream to have, right? Sure is. We 
We are jumping over now to the Sam Houston Band from SAISD for 2015. 11 out of 11 seniors awarded full or partial music scholarships. They were founded back in 1923 and have participated in the parade for more than 30 years. Here are the Hurricanes. You can so check, you them can out. check them out. Yeah, all these bands we've been talking about that placed last night, again, you can catch that broadcast tomorrow at 3 p.m. Uh, Sam Houston Twisters, they have competed on regional, state, and national levels. They received first place on their team hip hop at this year's competition. And they received sweepstakes each year at competition. Pep Squad received sweepstakes this year after competing for their very first time. Let's and, watch them. And the band's not done yet, are they? Coming up behind the pep squad and the cheerleaders, you're going to notice a big giant banner because the theme this year for Sam Houston High School, traditional Texas pastimes. Sam Houston was founded in 1923. Darnell White is their principal. Hey, real quick, when we're talking about the, uh, the Twisters, yeah. they are 30 members strong. Their cheer captain is Keonia Herring. Congratulations to you guys. Very, very right, well done. Back to the high school. Founded in 23, Darnell White's their principal. In regular season ball this year, they went 10 and 0. Their decathlon team just went to state for the fifth year in a row. And their float, as I was saying, their title this year is Traditional Texas Pastimes. A beautiful, lots of colors, great fiesta colors. Having a lot of fun out there today. Now, as they're waving to everyone, and this is our first, first public school float that's showing up in the now, parade today. One of many. Yeah, let's talk a little about their theme this year. The reason they said traditional Texas pastimes, they said there's more to do in Texas than you can shake a stick at. And <laughs> pleasurable pastimes are part of the Texas culture. So if you're hankering for a little adventure, take a tube ride down Texas River Rapids, which is what you see right there. Yep. Or saddle up a horse for a ride down a narrow canyon trail. That is actually really funny with that big tube in the middle. If your leisure pursuits don't include a ride on the wild side, then bait that fishing pole. Pull up a camp stool near one of the state's 3,800 rivers. Next up, our friends from Wells Fargo Bank. Their stagecoach, they're handling the ribbons, is Alan Cartwright, a native Texan who's been performing since the age of six. He's worked in numerous films, TV shows, commercials, and made many appearances at Rodeo. And Wells Fargo established its first store in San Antonio back in 1883 with J.M. Nixon as its agent. For 160 years, Wells Fargo has helped customers and communities succeed financially to get where they need to go. And behind them, we once again want to recognize our super scoopers. So we thank them so much for doing the cleanup work behind all of these horses. We are going to take another break during the Battle of Flowers Parade coverage right here on KSAT. Well, we hope to stick around. We'll be back, everybody. More to come. <laughs> 